Every single year, there's more than 300 million tons of plastics made. 91% of them ends up in landfills. At the same time, three trillion pounds of food waste decomposes anaerobically and releases methane emissions that's equivalent to the third largest emitter in the world. At Genesis, we really solve two major problems. Number one is we divert food waste going away to landfills. And number two is that we convert them into compostable and marine biodegradable plastics. By 2050, we will replace the blue bins with the green bin. I grew up in Shijiazhuang, China, and it's actually known as the most polluted city in China. My parents were both engineers. My mom studied a PhD in environmental engineering. My childhood was a really great one. I had a lot of great fun playing with my friends, outdoors, in nature. That's where I spent most of my time. I love taking nature walks because it really helps me to zone in on a single problem. When you go into nature, you see a lot of different patterns. These patterns are the same patterns that we try to mimic and try to really bring out through biotechnology today. In the last 30 years, fortunately, there's been a new wave of green chemical companies. They are recreating plastics using sugars from plants like sugarcane or corn. However, they're not the best solution either. Most of them don't actually degrade within a single year. Sometimes they take more than 80 years to degrade. Plus, you have to grow all these crops first, which competes directly with the human food supply. The plastic that we make is called PHAs, which stands for polyhydroxyalkanoids. It's literally the fat of bacteria, which means when it goes into nature, it can be eaten up by wildlife and can break down into carbon dioxide and water, which means it leaves behind no microplastics. And it can degrade within 12 months in both terrestrial and marine environments. PHAs can literally replace all types of single-use plastics. Things like cutlery, shampoo bottles, cosmetics, candy wrappers, etc. Today, all PHAs are made by feeding sugars to bacteria. What we have done instead is that we've developed a novel technology that allows us to feed food waste to bacteria to make the same PHAs. Our process is really quite simple. We use two sets of bacteria cultures. The first set of bacteria converts food waste into small carbons. The second set of bacteria converts the small carbons into PHAs. The unique part of our technology is that we can tune bacteria to make PHAs mimic the properties to any plastic out there. At the end of our process, what we get is these small little pellets that can go directly into any injection molding machine or blow molding machine ready to be made into end products. We source our food waste by directly working with waste management companies. Food waste is carbon negative as well as cost negative. Cost negative means that people actually pay us to take the food waste away as opposed to us having to pay for the sugar feedstocks ourselves. There's more food waste out there than there are sugars available for us to use, which means that food waste is a feedstock that we'll never run out of. By 2050, we want to offset five gigatons of carbon emissions by diverting 80% of all food waste away from landfills and into our process we could offset more than 8% of carbon emissions globally, at the same time have a cost-effective solution that utilizes a zero-cost waste feedstock to produce a material that can be used in our everyday lives. We're on a mission to drive our world towards a circular economy. In the future, we no longer have to sort what types of plastics goes into which bin. All types of plastics that's made out of PHAs plus your organics can go into the same organic bin to be recycled back into virgin PHAs again. My name is Luna Yu, CEO and co-founder of Genesis Bio Industries.